feel, apply. Feel, apply. Feel, apply. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. I want to say what's up to all my subbies and all the newbies checking me out for the very first time or second or third or fifth or whatever. I appreciate it. Come on in. You came on a good day because today I'm going to self relax. I'm going to show you how and what I do as far as when I relax my hair. I relax my hair about seven, uh, about seven weeks, every seven weeks, seven to eight. And I'm going a little long this time. It's been about nine weeks. So I'm going to get right into it. The star of the show is gonna be Precise Relaxer. That's what I use, um, and I use it in mild. This is what the box looks like, okay? So that's what I'm going to use, um, just a heads up. The way that I relax is a little bit unorthodox, okay? It's a little off the beaten path, but I've been doing this for years, and it totally works for me. And as you can tell, I still have, I'm looking in the mirror, I still have hair on my head, thank God. Um, but yeah, this is what works for me. I'm not telling anyone to do what I do the way I do it. I am simply sharing with you all how I do it. And being that this was requested, I'm going to show you what my process is as far as the prep and as far as the application. So without any ballyhoo or fanfare, we're going to jump right into it. Okay. I'm going to show you how I do my hair. Ooh, that rhymes. I didn't mean to do that, but I did. Hey. Okay, guys, we're ready to rock and roll. I did the relaxer. It's all mixed up, as you can see. So I'm gonna start applying it. I've already parted my hair in two little ponytails. Okay, so I look a little crazy, it's okay. Um, and I'm also going to prep my forehead. What I do is I grab the petroleum jelly, okay, the Vaseline, and I put a generous amount all around the perimeter. All around here, my forehead, I do around the ears, I do the top of my ears, as well as the nape of the neck, okay? Again, these are the parts that may have come in contact with some type of friction, either from washing our faces, taking a shower, washing your neck, washing behind your ears, you know, inadvertently, you know, touching your face. And we want the relaxer to stay on as long as possible, as far as within the directions. We want the relaxer to stay on and not cause irritation as soon as it's applied, okay? So we're gonna try and stay within these parameters, okay, as we're applying. Let's get this thing going. I'm gonna start applying the petroleum jelly. And again, I do around all of my perimeter. I go all around. I'm very generous, I don't play around, okay? I get my ear, I get the back of the ear. Now, I don't base my scalp. I just learned about basing scalps. My sister, uh, I saw a video and uh, someone was basing their scalp and I had never even heard of that. Um, but basically it's the same concept. Um, people like to put oil or some type of lubricant, you know, whether it's petroleum jelly, usually it's petroleum jelly or some type of conditioner to keep the relaxer from irritating their scalp. I'm gonna take this out. I don't necessarily have to do that. I've never done that. My thing is, I don't wanna to touch my scalp at all. Like, I don't wanna to touch it at all. So with that being said, I do not base my scalp. I don't have a sensitive scalp, number one. Uh, not that you need one for it to start burning, but mine is not extra sensitive as far as to a relaxer. And number two, that's why I wait until my hair is dirty enough meaning the oils have already collected on my scalp. And I just use those natural oils that have already collected on my scalp throughout that week, okay? 
And that sort of acts as the buffer. That does act as the buffer in lieu of basing my scalp. So that's sufficient for me, okay? So I do not base my scalp. Here we go. And I do the tops of my ears, like I said. And I do, do all around my ears. And I even go a little bit down my neck. Okay, I think we're all lubed up. <laughs> so I'm going to wipe my fingers off and I'm going to get to the get to the meat and potatoes, okay? All right, so here we go. When I comb my hair, I'm very careful not to have the teeth of the comb touch my scalp. Again, I don't want any issues with early burning. We don't want any early burning. Okay, so I like to start down the strip and then I go in. Strip, go in. All right. So I take, take that and I like to go down the strip first. Hopefully you can see it. I'm just going down the strip. And I like to hold my hair taut so that I am definitely getting the new growth. Okay. And again, I can feel it. I can feel where everything is going because it's like I feel with one finger first and then I put the applicator for, um, finger on it after I feel where it's going. You know what I mean? All right. Okay, so now I don't smooth it in yet. Okay, so this is pretty much the new growth. I went a little bit over, but I'm not nervous about that at all. You're gonna get a little bit of overlap. The point is you don't want a whole lot and then over process. So I'm going right in and I start from the front and I go right in there, right in there. Next, part with my finger, right in there. And I'm right above my scalp. It looks like I'm putting it on my scalp, but I'm not. Of course, some of it is going to touch it, but I'm not applying it to my scalp. I'm applying it to the parts. See, it's right above, right above. And I just, I don't smooth it out yet. I'm just applying, so the application. This is the application. I'm going to keep doing these parts. I, I saw a video where a girl was getting help with her relaxer. See, I got it on my thumb. I'm not worried because I have my wipe. It gets a little messy, but that's okay. Um, so she was getting help and the person was behind her and they crossed their hand in front of her with the relaxer on their gloves because they had gloves on. And do you know that they had a, a, a drop of relaxer get on her forehead? And I'm watching this like I'm watching a horror movie. I was like, oh my gosh, she's gonna get that in her eye. Please, if you self relax, do not cross your hands. Whether you wear gloves or not, it's gonna be on your hands, meaning do not cross your hands with the gloves on or with, app, with any of the relaxer on your hand, on your gloved hand or your brush. If you use a brush, do not cross it over your face. Do not do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep parting. Okay. Now this part you may not be able to see because I'm getting closer to the back. Okay, so I just hold it taut with my fingers. I'm not worried about that little strand. Guess what? That's all you do. You know, I don't, I don't worry about that. I normally don't put Vaseline like on the ends of my hair, but I'm all for it. You know, I'm all for it. Um, if your hair is shorter, 
I probably would. But I don't, I don't worry about that because I'm pretty efficient in not getting it on the strands. Okay. And even with a brush or glove, sometimes you get you know, uh, shorter strands get caught up into the mix and they'll drag down a little bit. Don't worry about that. I don't worry about that. Okay. Just keep moving. So once I get further back like this, that's when I, I change course. A little and I do top to bottom so again I waited about nine weeks before I relaxed that was by accident but I don't have a problem with that I usually try and do seven eight weeks but nine ten I don't have a problem with that your hair grows hair grows about an inch every two months okay and as long as and I'm pretty average I can get close to an inch in about two months. So eight weeks, you can get close to an inch, if not a full inch. And I'm pretty close to that. So I feel comfortable. As long as I don't do anything crazy or nothing crazy happens as far as my growth, anything that hinders my growth, uh, I feel comfortable relaxing every eight weeks. And again, the longer that I wait, it just gets drier and it just does not help me at all to have dry hair. You don't want, I, if it's drier, then you got to be more careful Then you're working with the new and the old growth. Okay, so I did this entire side. And what I like to do is, then I go in right here. I don't smooth anything yet. All this is just application. Okay. Now again, I'm not crossing in front of my face. Just pull it back. Oh. I just apply it. Okay. I just apply it and then apply it all around the perimeter. I take my wipe because it's getting a little crazy on my fingers. Again, I have no burning on my fingers. You know, um, I'm using the mild relaxer so it's not uh, super strong. I don't believe anyone needs a Supreme or the super strong one or the whatever it's called. So. Yeah, when I first started doing my hair, as far as relaxing, it is a wonder that I even had hair left because I knew nothing. And when I say nothing, I knew nothing. I read the directions, saw that it was supposed to be on for a certain amount of time. And bear with me, I'm trying to look in the mirror and make sure, see, I got it on top of my ear, but that's okay. Okay. So I try and do the perimeter. I'm not worried about the little, it's okay. But I didn't know anything about it. I thought, okay, well, you relax your hair and then that's pretty much it. So I would relax my hair, had the, the uh, at that time I was using a different relaxer and it came with the, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to focus in on this and talk. So bear with me. But anyway, okay, so that one side is done. So we're going in on the other side. Okay, so anyway, um, I used to pull it all the way through. I know, scary. Um, once I applied it, I did that twice. As a virgin, 
I applied it all the way through, which is what you're supposed to do, okay? And then when I did it again, I was supposed to only do the new growth. Do you know I pulled that stuff all the way through? I worked it all through my hair again, not knowing anything, thinking that that's the way you're supposed to do it. And when I tell you that it is a true blessing that all my hair did not fall out now, it was definitely over-processed. But that, at that time, I didn't know what that meant, you know. So again, it was drier, but I never lost my hair. And I didn't have a whole lot of breakage. It just was over-processed. You know what I mean? It was just over-processed. So, let's make sure we're keeping our... Okay. All right, so let's take this off. So as I learned... And I got better because I practiced. Well, I didn't practice it. Just basically, the more I did, the more I learned. I learned that I didn't like the um, neutralizing shampoo. Okay, now you see I'm using this hand. This is the clean hand, but I'm not going to cross this hand over my face. I'm doing it above. Okay? Do not cross it in front of your face. Please. But anyway, I learned that uh, I did not like the neutralizing shampoo. I don't like that. And I didn't like the gloves because the gloves are one size fits all. And it's those uh, big plastic gloves, the, the clear ones, and they do not have a good fit to them. Okay. So we got a couple of strands. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about it, okay? This is getting awkward, okay. I'm not worried about the few strands, okay? I'm just gonna keep it moving. Almost done. I'm not trying to get a little bit on the front on that. I'm just used to doing it with my fingers now. You know, you gotta find your own stride. Again, there's no one way to do it. You know, plenty of people use brushes plenty of people use gloves and lots of people use the backs of combs little rat tail combs so you do what you feel like you need to do a lot of us have been self-relaxing for a while so we have our own little regimen down pat again i'm not even smoothing out yet I'm just gonna get this all on here. And when I pull it, I pull it up and I try to make sure that it's not all laying down yet. Hold it taut. Yeah, you're gonna get the you're gonna get a couple of hairs that stick to the relaxer, okay, which is why it's good to hold the parts taut. Mm. Ta? No. It's good to hold the parts taut, okay? You wanna hold your part so that you're not dragging it all through the, the entire shaft of the hair. Again, this is how I do it. I part it in two and I just work it through. So again, I do all of the interior of my hair first, and then I go around to the perimeter, make sure I get my edges, and then I start to smooth it. See, I'm not in front of my face, I'm right here. Okay, okay. Okay, we gotta start smoothing this out because I gotta, I'm not burning, but I wanna stay within this time. How long has it been? Okay, so it's been about 20. Okay, so I go back in and I smooth it out. Some stuff needs more perm because it feels dry. It feels like there's nothing there. Just put more there. And that's all I do. I come back in and I smooth with my finger. All right, I'm done. I am done. I am satisfied. This is how 
And this is how I look after I relax my hair. So I'm gonna uh, go wash it out. Time to go, gotta wash it out. And then I will be back with the trim. Well, with the other results, as far as the trim and the final results, and we'll do the, the length and just stay there. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so that's how I self relax, okay? Yeah, I use my fingers. Again, I uh, don't have any issues with anything. Um, if anything, my nail turns a little yellow, okay? I have all 10 of my digits, okay, including the finger that I use. So I apply it with my pointer finger, but I do use my middle finger, okay, as to sort of locate, okay, and feel. So I feel and then apply, feel, apply, feel, apply. So that's how I've been doing it. And I like the results. We'll just go over the results real quick. Okay, so I'm very happy. I didn't have to, uh, didn't have to cut that much. So we are gaining, we are gaining length. Okay, hello. We are gaining length. I am so happy, okay? So with that being said, I'm just gonna stay on top of everything because you know where my problem area is. It's this middle strip. Okay, so I'm going to sort of be, like I said, I'm going to be more mindful of different things and really take care of this middle strip, especially the undercarriage, okay? And I think we're going to do, I think we're going to do a length check. Let's do it next week, okay? So we're going to do a wash and dry, and then we'll do a length check next week. I think that's what we're going to try and do. So... For newbies, I just want to say as far as certain points, I heard that, and I think this is a wonderful suggestion. I think this is very smart. I've heard a couple people say that if you are trying to relax for the very first time, to practice, practice with conditioner, to get your timing on point, I would look, have my um, timer, and I would practice with the conditioner. Make sure you get a relaxer that you're comfortable with. Maybe someone has recommended something or you've seen other people uh, use it and you're okay with it. You're like, hey, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty. I'm ready to do that. So forth and so on. Make sure you do your research as far as the relaxers are concerned. Because if you're set on doing your hair or getting it done, then I say go for it. If you've actually considered and gone through the process of, you know what, my hair is healthy because I would not relax damaged hair, okay? Know for sure, and you know whether your hair is damaged or not. Do not put a chemical on damaged hair. You're not gonna help it. That's not gonna hide it. That's not gonna shellac it to a better place, okay? Make sure your hair is ready. Make sure you have your equipment ready, whether you're gonna use a brush or gloves, I'm not gonna say fingers, that's what I do, I'm just saying, okay. And if it comes with a neutralizing shampoo, use it, use it, it may work for you, okay? Um, and then if it doesn't, if it feels a little stiff or you're not liking the way it feels and you know that you did everything else correctly, then you can adjust, okay? You can adjust and change out that shampoo for something else, okay? But it's a learning experience and once you get a hang of it, you're off and running you're off and running, okay? And after all that, or before all that, if you're totally unsure, then you can always go to a professional. And again, the same thing applies. You gotta do your research because you know a lot of us are doing our own hair because we went to professionals and we did not have a professional result, okay? So do your research even with going to a salon. Uh, as far as scalp health is concerned, you do not want to manipulate your scalp at all before you relax. That's for anyone who relaxes first time or, you know, those who have done it for years, okay? You don't want to be combing it or dragging a comb's teeth through it, a brush. You don't want to be scratching your head. That's why you see people do this, you know? A lot of people, because they're waiting on the... Now, I even sometimes just tug on it. You know what I mean? Because that makes it feel good. And I do a little piano riff on my head sometimes. 
but you don't want to agitate your scalp at all. Okay, guys, so we were in and out. Well, kind of. It took us a little bit longer, but that's okay. That's what we're here for, okay? So thank you so much for dialing in and showing up. I really, really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, just let me know down below, okay? And yeah, we'll be back talking about some more stuff. We're going to do a wash day. So you come on back for that, okay? So you know what it is. It's the same Dolce Dial, same Dolce Channel. So you come on back.